Hello everyone. I just wanted to make a video over this Toro Z Master 2000. Today, I finally hit 500 hours on this machine. Um, out here mowing my own yard and it turned over to 500 hours. So I just figured I'd stop and do a quick review video on it before I forget. Uh, so we bought this unit new in 2020, I believe in August of 2020. And so it is now um, April 2nd of 2023. So it's not quite been two years yet that we've owned it, but um, we have hit 500 hours on this thing. And see if we can see the hour meter there right at 500 hours um it's been a pretty good mower overall i guess the uh big thing i'll mention is they don't actually make these mowers anymore or this exact mower they make something pretty comparable um this mower i believe they only made it in 2020 and then in 2021 they had one that would have been pretty much the same machine but they did change up a few things like this front piece where it says toro right there um, they got rid of that metal and put a rubber bumper right there um, and then they did a few other little changes with cosmetics like the rops would have been square tubing instead of round tubing and they made those for a couple years and i believe this year when we were at louisville looking at the um Looking at the mowers, they have changed them once again and changed a lot of the plastic back here and the way the back end and the fenders look. They've kind of changed it up over again and kind of made it a little more like the 4000 series, the way it kind of looks in my opinion. But anyways, they still make a, an equivalent machine to this, um, but not this exact unit. Uh, we gave, I think back in the day, tax and all out the door little under eight thousand dollars for it so um i'm sure they're a little higher now for something about the same but that is what we did give for it and for the money i'd say it's been a pretty good machine it does have the toro engine which we've only had one small issue with that um, we had a starter lock up on us um, last year and we took it out to our dealer at 54 lawn and garden and they had it fixed in like less than a day. So um, they took care of us, even gave us a demo to use while they were fixing it. So we were not out anything um, and got it right back to us. And we've had no problem since then. Uh, I think we've still got the original battery on it, which is starting to, um, we need to replace it. It's starting to show that it's two years old. So we need to fix that or not fix it, but replace that probably pretty soon. But other than that, everything else is pretty much still good on it. Uh, we did add this shoot blocker a couple years ago. Um, I like them. They come in handy for what we're doing. Not really a big fan of the big flaps that come on these mowers. Um, the rear tires got 24, 12, 12s. I believe these are Kendas. Um, yeah, Kenda Super Turfs, not my favorite tire. I know a lot of mowers have these, but our 4000, I believe, has some Carlisles, and I like the Carlisles better. I feel like they get a little better traction. These are, um, in my opinion, a little more prone to slippage, I've noticed. When the grass is a little wet, they slip a little more and don't have the best traction. I mean, it's not bad, but I have noticed that. Uh, we did put flat free tires on the front, a little over a year ago so we ran them all last season with these flat free tires that was one upgrade we made just because we tend to get a lot of flats on our front tires just where we live i guess a lot rougher yards not as much manicured stuff so um we tend to every now and then get a thorn or something in those and once switching to these we've obviously had no flats had no problems with those um Trying to think what else on this thing. The seat is very comfortable. Not as comfortable as, you know, your upper end Toros, but still very comfortable. Um, has the adjustable ride suspension and everything. Gas tank is plenty big enough. You can run all day on a 
tank of gas. You can kind of see the sight picture there. Um, it's hard to tell on this camera, but you can normally see where it is, like it's about half full right now. Um, real easy to adjust your height of cut, move that up and push the pedal. And so that's real nice uh, knob for your PTO, throttle, choke, all, all that's over there. So everything's pretty simple. Um, not a whole lot of complexity to this unit. It is fairly light, which is nice. So if you do get it stuck, it's easy to get out. But overall, the, um, the, the deck is a little bit um, thinner than like our 4000 series deck and our older Z Master. It does have, I think, 7 gauge on the front, but only 10 gauge across the top instead of 7 gauge all the way around. So that, that could be one knock on this, not as heavy duty of a deck. But then again, you get it a lot cheaper of a price. So I'd say this mower is really good for somebody who's not doing a whole lot of mowing. Um, if you are commercially mowing, but maybe only doing several hours a week, it's gonna be really good. Um, or if you just are a homeowner with big property, you know, it'll be great for that too. Uh, it does work for us. Um, like I said, we've only put a little over 250 hours a year on it because we've had it, well, a year and a half, 500 hours. Um, but like I said, it's still heavy duty enough. It handles what we need. Um, for when we bought it, it was a right fit for us. Now, in the future, will we buy this mower? Probably not. We'll probably go with another 4,000 um, unit, at least a 4,000, maybe a five or six, but at least a 4,000. Um, if we do buy another one once it's time to replace this mower but yeah it does what it needs to do the 20 um we have 24 and a half horsepower toro i would like a little more horsepower sometimes but it handles the mower real well um it does like if you're real wet thick conditions you can does make you want a little more horsepower but um like i said for 90 percent 95 percent of the time it's plenty of Plenty, plenty of horsepower for what you need and it doesn't really burn a ton of fuel like our Kawasaki does on our 4000 um, burns a whole lot more fuel than this engine so that is the trade-off uh, less horsepower but you do get better fuel efficiency on this machine other than that there's not really a whole lot to show you um, it's been a good mower for us it's done real well. I think it's got 750 hours of warranty. So we still got 250 hours before we run out of warranty. So maybe I'll do another video once we hit that 750 hour mark and just let you know how it's holding up. And then maybe when we hit a thousand, just let you know if anything's falling apart on this mower or how it's still holding up. But as of right now, like I said, we only had one small issue with the starter and it was warranty and it, we got that thing in and out in less than a day so it wasn't a big deal at all overall like i said it's been a good mower and i've enjoyed using it so thanks for watching and we'll probably do another video soon on our 4000 series